Hi guys, Dorota Palitska, international nail artist and educator here. And I have prepared a beautiful 3D roses for you. They are absolutely amazing. Have a preview of them in here. They're not over the top, so they could be used in a salon nail art as well. And I hope you really enjoy learning this tutorial. So let's start. That's a simple 3D rose and I will show you how to do it. I have just slightly different background, like a bit darker, and I will show you on one nail. So the color we use is 230 and it's a metallic red, like winey red, I would say it. So I'm just applying a thin layer first. You could probably push it in a one layer, but because of mm, like the metallic colors, you can see the lines through it. If it's not, by actually, I might pull it through one layer. It's better to do it over two, like uh, you get a nice and um, better results with it. Uh, just for a quickness, I will do it uh, one coat. And then once it's cut, we are going to use um, Aurora Flakes and some ombre brush. So I just need to wait a couple seconds longer. There we are. And then grab those flakes. Brush them in so they will look nice and flat. And then apply the top coat. So high shine, no wipe top gel over it. This is actually a really good cure for just a couple seconds uh, because obviously we do not it wasn't cut in a video, it was just a couple seconds cure for my gel polish. It's a pretty risky because you can under cure it. Uh, so again, this is something which I wouldn't do it on the clients uh, um, because that could be quite risky. Now we've got one background which is already ready <laughs> and uh, I'm going to use the Mega White and Neil Perfect Acrylic uh, Liquid to create our first flower. So I'm just prepping my brush, making sure my tip is stuck properly uh, to the base and then pick up a first scoop of the acrylic, dry it out. I don't like it too, oh, I don't like it too wet when I'm working with it. And then place it on our nail. Bring in more monomer and shape it into like almost triangle shape. Or no, I say it wrong, half a moon shape. That will be the best description of it, so half a moon shape. Okay, happy with this half a moon shape. And then I can start pressing the petal down. So you can see it will be creating a nice and beautiful veins by holding it. Make it a nice irregular shape. Happy with this first petal. Picking up another one. Try it out. And then the next petal, I want to place it like half a moon, but a little bit inside the previous one. So I'm just placing it there and then start shaping into my half a moon. Okay, that's my half a moon done and I can start pressing the petal. Again, make it nice and irregular. And pick up another petal. Okay, this one is to go inside again. So shape it half a moon. Okay, I've got nice half a moon shape and then I can start pressing it. happy with this one we are going to place another one so the next one is going to go here 
much smaller so I'm drying out my brush a little bit more place it there wait for it to start work and setting and then we can start touching it if you touch your acrylic too soon it will make the things much more difficult because like it will almost splash out like you will introduce with your brush too much monomer and the things will be very very difficult I can see it I still got a couple seconds more before I can touch it properly so I'm just gently playing with it also the angle of my brush is not as flat I'm kind of having more straight brush so I can brush it to the top and my middle is kind of more separated and sticks out more Okay, now I want this part to dry out a little bit before I will start bringing in more product. So we want to add some leaves and I want my leaves to go in here. Okay, so I've got my first leaf and for a leaf I like to actually work it in like almost a rhombus shape I would say. So I'm flattening it out from both sides and we have created a rhombus shape. Once I've got the rhombus shape I clean my brush and with the nice tip of my brush, I'm just almost painting a line, squeeze it, and we've got a really nice and beautiful leaf. We could add more detail through it by pressing on the sides. So you can just press it gently here, and there, and there, to give it more definition to your leaf. Okay, again, I want to leave this area to set a little bit more pick up another leaf and for a balance we want to add just one actually it's screaming to me added here so I'm just gonna add it there so again try those rhombus shape it doesn't have to be a perfect rhombus shape actually the leaves aren't perfect so the less perfect rhombus shape you've got the better the only thing is like the bottom part you want it to be as close to the flower because when you drag it like this now you are kind of moving the mm, product a little bit and it's almost going away from your flower. Make it nice tip and shape and then press those veins. So we've got another leaf. Okay, so time to go back to the middle. So I'm just cleaning my brush, making sure there is very little liquid on it and pick up a wee tiny bit. Place it there and just do not touch it. <laughs> like, do not touch it. You need to wait for it to set a little bit and keep it separate from the previous petals. Okay, so I'm just moving it, kind of lifting it up so it doesn't touch my previous um, petals. With the tip, I'm just making like a wee hole and I'm trying to make an opening in one side. Okay, I got my opening. So it looks a little bit like a swirl inside and then I'm just pushing it in more. You can shape it and then that's the middle of our rose dawn. So we have to add more leaves because the single one doesn't look nice. And I definitely want a smaller leaf in here. And then one more tiny in there. Okay, drag it in and shape it. Do the same in here. Now, depending on the temperatures of your room, you could do it two beats at the one time or just a one beat. I've got quite warm temperatures, so I have to watch it because uh, it might be quite difficult to work with two at the one time. Just taking the risk. Okay, we tiny leaves down. And to be honest, like I would say I'm pretty happy we did this one. Uh, so we can just keep it on the side and quickly we will just do it 
one more than here. For a change, I will go more on the bottom. So pick up the first beat. And shape it half a moon. Is becoming nice and matte. So I can start pressing. Pick up another one. What I'm doing now is I'm holding a bit longer, just so those veins are more visible, because the longer you hold them, the nicer they become. And shape it half a moon. Again, it's not ready yet to be touched. Dry out my brush. Touch it. You can almost see it when it's ready, because uh, it becomes like not shiny anymore. Very tiny one. Because we want just something in there. I have dried it out a little bit just so it doesn't bleed as much. Shape half a moon. You can help it from the top, from the bottom. Remember, you wanted it kind of more inside because when you press, you move your product. Now that's it ready. So you can see it, my product is moving. And if it would be too much outside, um, it will really misshape my flower. Okay, we've got another petal done. And I think here would be nice to do some sort of rosebud. So let's concentrate on that. I'm just placing my product. And I want to do it at an almost like a triangle shape. No, not triangle, rhombus again. Oh gosh, why I keep saying that? <laughs> and then just press hole in it. Nice hole in it. Brush it into triangle on the top. And this way we have created like a wee rosebud. Pick up another scoop. Place it there and create like a really large half a moon. Move it closer to inside because once we press it, it will move. And then start pressing, but also lifting it up. Okay, now we can do some leaves. Separate it from the bat. Give it a nice elongated shape. And then press the veins. I'm just following the curve of the leaf. Another tiny one. Again, I have to dry out my bead. And because this one is only a tiny one, 
I don't want to drag it too much. So I'm just waiting for it to set before I can press it. And because I've got only one task to do it, I can straight away pick up my bit which just goes inside the rows. So this one is setting and I've got time to gently press into my tiny baby leaf. This one makes sure goes into the middle, so you kind of want to separate it from the previous petals. Okay, happy with that. Make a rounded shape and then try to divide it almost like into half and swirl one inside, one part inside. Okay, happy with this one, so leave this uh, flower to set as well. Our next step is to add some fine detail. And we are going to use the French gel because it's a product which can be used without of top coat. And also, all of them are available on our website. Um, you can find the links in the description of this video. So now I'm using the D-liner and before we was using the um, 3D brush number two, really fine brush. Now I want to add some kind of line work through it. So my brush needs to go really nice and thin. And then another one maybe here. Slowly. And then either a dotting tool or a brush, but you have to be very careful uh, to don't damage the tip of your brush. So usually the dotting tool is a better option. The only thing is with the dotting tool, you cannot go as small as you would do with the brush. And then here, because the line is thicker, much bigger. Give it a cure. Here, we want to add slightly different detail. So, okay, let me do it that way, just around it. To finish our rose, the baby one. and then add some thin, thin lines. Oh, I've got some fluff in there, get rid of that. Look how little product I've got on my brush. You want actually hardly anything in there. Cross them over. And then make another one. Actually, I really don't like that and uh, I'm just going to wipe it away because we've got the top coat in there. I can easily just wipe that away. That's better. And then add the dots. And this way we have created another beautiful design. I hope, guys, you have uh, really enjoyed it. I'm going to show you all the roses we have done. So this two actually needs to go on the side now because they are very similar. And the one in the middle is completely different. Um, I have to watch it because it's not cooked yet properly. So it's just pretty. And it looks really nice on this darker color as well. That's why I wanted to show you something uh, different, you can see it, the 3D look we have created. I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.